Saturdays, well, all across Rogers, obvious sign of destruction uh, still remain. Good evening. Thanks for joining us here at 6 o'clock. I'm Doug Warner. And I'm Sonia Hill. We're so glad you're here today. Well, the city had just opened up the multi-million dollar Northwest Park in Rogers just weeks before the tornado tore through. Uh, KNWA's Kylie Neal joins us live there from the park. And uh, I just want to add this. I know you used to play softball at Louisiana Tech. And I, when I look at you on that softball field, I was in that area when that area was hit with a tornado. It looks just like what the campus there looks like. Uh, and here we sit just months afterwards and still no repair work done. Yeah, you know, Doug, it's actually really sad. I kind of want to show you guys exactly what this park looks like. If you can look right here in front of me, you'll see center blocks that were once a part of the backstop and on the ground, and you'll see a light pole that's hanging right over the fence. You know, back when I was playing softball at Louisiana Tech, there was still a lot of damage there. But here at Northwest Park, they're still continuing repairs, and they're actually scheduling a meeting with FEMA to do some paperwork to see when those repairs are going to be done. It was open right about three weeks, um, and we had even scheduled the grand opening for a couple weeks after the tornado hit, so it was very heartbreaking. Quentin Harris is the director of Parks and Recreation for the city of Rogers. He says some people grew up playing at Northwest Park and were happy that the new field had opened, but then it was just gone. It was top of the line. I mean, we heard uh, from as many people as we could around the industry that that was as good as it gets, um, and it was just gone the next day, basically. Harris says that Northwest Park will have to be cleaned up and rebuilt. Parks and Recreation has been working on paperwork to see how quickly it can be rebuilt. We're going through the uh, insurance process and working with FEMA right now um, to go through that and, and get it fixed uh, as quickly as we can. Uh, but it's a slow process and it takes some time to get through. But Parks and Recreation aren't the only ones playing a waiting game with paperwork. So is the city. Yeah, I mean, we uh, want to see Northwest Park cleaned up. Um, as much as everybody else. But uh, going through the FEMA process, we you know, get our applications in um, as well as insurance. And so we're going through the paperwork side of things um, before we can actually get you know, the crews on the ground to get Northwest Park cleaned up. Masonis also says that the FEMA paperwork has to be approved in order for construction to head underway. And that will take some time to clean up the damage. But, I mean, you can just look from, you know, with your eyeballs and see the things that were thrown around and, and um, just see the destruction and damage. So we're hoping to start cleaning up as soon as next month. Um, and I know it sounds like that's a long time away even still. Um, but then it's, we're thinking about a 15-month process for the rebuild because everything's got to come out and everything's got to go back. So it's going to take a long time. Uh, it'll look a little bit worse before it looks better, but we're, get, we're going to get there. Yeah, you know, I'm currently standing on second base here at one of the fields, and all around me, there's lots of debris, there's lots of damage, and the city and Parks and Recreation and Rogers is asking for the community's patience. Reporting live in Rogers, Kylie Neal, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.